Welcome back to Hannity. Now, it's been a while since my next guest and I have sat down for an interview. Former Congressman Anthony Weiner resigned from office back in 2011 amid a scandal. Now, two years later, he's back with me in studio. How are you? Everything's right in the world again. Well, I don't know about that. Um, I may surprise you. I really, I don't, I don't take any glee in people having personal issues, traumas, and I really wish you the best, even though we don't agree on anything. Um, you remember when, when Hugh Grant had his issue and, and he went on Jay Leno? Remember, do you remember that interview? Not really. He said, what the hell were you thinking? So my, qu my first question to you is, you went through this difficulty, you resigned from office, and then you do it again. I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? Well, it's not, it's not true, but I'm kind of done talking about this stuff. Went through weeks and months of talking about it, talked to your network and everyone else, so I'm kind of done talking about it. Yeah, but I, you know, just from a personal standpoint, you know, did, did you learn something? Are you changing? Because I, I went through a, a long campaign where I let citizens who wanted to ask me about this ask me about it. I found, frankly, they want to talk a lot about health care. They want to talk about the condition of jobs in the city, want to talk about their lives. I think, frankly, a lot of us, sometimes TV hosts are like this, politicians are like this. They think this is all about us. It's not really. It's about their lives. True. I think people who watch your show, they're concerned, you know, what's going to happen with their lives and the, and the challenge facing the middle class and those struggling to make it. That's what I'm focused on. That's what I care about. Do you think it's, it's hard to make now? Obviously, you didn't do well in the mayoral race. Do you think people are unforgiving? You got a very low percentage of the vote. I'm doing know. well until. I don't know. You, you, you guys don't stop begging me to come on, so apparently you want to talk to me. Well, and I, 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 and I, I say something like talking to you. I didn't beg you. you to come on. We asked you to come on. And by the way, I was, like kind, of, I was kind of surprised you said yes. Well, you asked me about 50 times. We always ask. We ask everybody. <laughs> asked I've asked President times. Obama a thousand so, times. So now I'm here and you want to ask me about why I'm here? Well, you invited no, no, me. No, if you don't want me no, here, no, I don't no, have to be I'm here. I'm asking you, I mean, do you... I, Is this I, really, really? No, I'm, but, I'm, but look, everybody knows that you've been through this big thing. Yeah. You've never been on with me in two years. Well, I have not spoken to you about Can it. I Here's my question. Wanna... I have a question. Uh, okay. I thought maybe the reason you're here is because maybe you wanted to transition to television and maybe you're coming on this show in the hopes of, like, replacing Chris Matthews. Nope. No, you don't. You don't want to do. What would you like to do in the future? I don't. I, I don't know. This. This. I'm not. I'm not here as part of a divine plan. You asked me to come on. You said you want to talk about Obamacare and, and the well, government. We're going to talk about that. And so I'm like, I'll, I'll be glad to talk to you about it. Frankly, it, it seems sometimes you need some explaining on things. I'm here to do it for you, brother. Oh, you're here to help me out. Is yes, that right? sir. That's what I'm here to do. So it's not a fair question to ask you if you have any plans. Have for the I future? said any of your questions are unfair? No, I'm, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm, look, Anthony, I'm not, you're very well, defensive. I'm not I trying just to. Don't, you want to have a conversation about me? I'm because, here to talk about because you're a public figure that's been through a big scandal, and whether you like it or not, it's a big issue. I understand you want to talk about me. I was invited on to talk about other things. I asked you one simple question. You're, no, you're, you're so defensive. Me, sir, you, Here's the question. I'm what not would you? Defensive. What are your plans? You answered the question. I answered him. What would you like to do? What do you? What do you think know. you might like to do? I don't know. It's only been a couple of weeks since you know, a month or so since the since the election. It was a grueling election. I'm getting back in touch with with you know seeing my son every day again and spending some time. We're not going to subway stops and things like that. Uh, and I'm concerned about the middle class, no struggling to make it in my city and in this country. And so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll find something. You shouldn't worry about it. I have one last question, and then I'm going to move on to health care. Okay. Okay. One last question. So okay. Sydney Leathers was on this program, and she said, of all the conservatives in the country, you hated me the most. And that you said, is that true? Because I thought I we always you? got along. Yeah, that Do you I disliked you? me the most. No. Oh. That's not true? I hate you. I'm here on your show. I don't that doesn't really mean you like me. And you by, know, the, way, by the way, I, 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 you know, I went on your radio shows. I went on, you did? on, on the television show. I, yeah. you know, I frankly, I, I was part of the group in Washington and the Democratic pro among progressives who didn't think it was heresy to come on Fox because mm -hmm. I thought that even if sometimes it seemed like one hand clapping, I wanted to be there to do the best I could. So I'm here because you invited me. All and right, let me ask you about health care um, and the government shutdown, the debt ceiling. Look, I could play a montage now of every Democrat on the debt ceiling saying that they weren't going to raise it, including Barack Obama. Now they claim that it would be almost immoral not to raise it. Is that hypocrisy? I think, I think you should raise the debt ceiling. I think these are bills incurred by the Congress. The debt ceiling should be raised. Boehner believes that. The president believes that. I believe that. You believe that. So what's the argument? Well, the Just argument is, is when Bush wanted to raise it, all the Democrats said they wouldn't do it, I, including I think Obama. I think it's, is that it's, hypocrisy? I think it's fair to say that people play politics with the debt limit, but no one does what this is, which is playing not only politics, but playing a game of, of, of standoff with the economy. Mm -hmm. That's a mistake. And I think, that, I, what I don't understand, maybe you can explain to me, if Boehner thinks we should raise the debt limit, which he says, the president thinks it. Hannity and Weiner both think it. Why don't they do it? I'm not so sure if Hannity actually believes. I, I'll tell you what, if we... Well, Hannity's bosses believe it. 
people well, I, I care about the stock price of this company. Believe people who have four hundred one k. I don't know what my bosses. I don't know what my bosses believe. I haven't asked them about it, but well, I will you tell you this: I, I mean, speak I, for my, I speak for myself on this program. All right, and I would only tell you that I'm really afraid when we have ninety trillion dollars in unfunded liabilities and we have seventeen trillion in debt, and Obama's nearly du will double it by the end of his second term from what every other the, president the before him. The debts have been run up already. It's only whether you. It's like you have a credit card and you say, "Well, I don't like the things I bought." I understand. So I'm not pay for it. But, and, but, but you're missing my point. The point is, I'm worried. You have young kids. I have you young kids. You don't want to raise the debt limit. Is that your position? No, no. If you listen, let me finish. No, just it's a simple question. It's a, it's a, it's a simple I'm the question. host. You're the guest. I get to do questions. What am I, a potted plant? I yeah, get your questions. questions. But let me, if you let me finish, I'll tell you. I'm worried that your kids and my kids, that this is unsustainable, 90 trillion, 17 trillion, I don't think we can ever pay this back. So change the policies, but that doesn't mean you don't pay the debts you already incurred. Well, you well, believe we should raise the debt limit? Well, first of all, I mean, you, you talk to the mothership at the Republican Moody's, Party. What do you believe? I'm, I'm curious. curious. I'm You're a, a smart guy. I'm a registered conservative. Whatever. Okay, register. Anyway. You no. speak to the mothership at that party. What no, do you I think don't really speak to A lot of those mothership Why people are you don't like the question? Me. Why are you so defensive? I'm not defensive. I'm enjoying this, actually. You're cracking me up. Do you believe we should raise the debt limit and pay our bills? I think we have to in the end. but. No one agrees that. Hang on, hang on. So the but only reason have, it doesn't have, happen is why? Can I just give you an explanation? What are you looking at? I'm not looking. There's nobody here for help. Part? It's an empty studio. I'm looking, looking at the cameraman. <laughs> Where are you looking? Here's my help. Uh, what I'm saying is, but you have to, if we're worried about the debt that we're putting on our children and grandchildren, Anthony, then the, the answer is simple. You've got to have with it some type. I, I agree. Change some policies. Type. I agree. Okay, but I think it's got to be connected to it. Because well, I, don't, I, I don't. Hang mind. on. Because I don't think this president, who's nearly doubled the yeah, debt me, of every me, other president, has any desire to do that. Well, hold on a second. First of all, I, there's no. I don't think there's even any disagreement about connecting the things. In the past, there have been things connected to Grand the debt Rodman. limit. Time out. The question is, do you hold the raising of the debt limit and the entire economy hostage unless you get everything you want? Raise no, the debt. Do who's the holding deal, hostage? Can I ask you? Well, right now, um, apparently, someone's holding someone hostage here, right? Uh, really? Then raise the debt limit. You, you haven't yet to answer me why that hasn't happened. Um, well, I think because the president said he won't negotiate. The president won't negotiate on what? He's the only Wait, one that's why? holding anybody hostage. Hold on. You said you wanted the debt said, limit. So why no, is it a gift to the president? I said, I said if we get spending under control with it. I think you cannot just raise the debt ceiling okay, so then you and said, but write then a blank you said check. To me, you said to me, well, there should be something with it. The president doesn't dispute Are that. You you're auditioning the for MSNBC. I don't you're understand. auditioning. You're you want Chris Matthews' job. Listen, I can tell. I you want to ask the questions. You want to be Chris Matthews. You, I, here's the problem. You, you never always, shut up like Chris Matthews why do, either. Why do you always have patsies on? You just guys, oh, why is it you it. don't want to have someone who pushes you a little bit on the basic assumptions of your argument? Listen, you want a job at MSNBC. I got it. That's Now I, I know why you Fox. came here today. Fox apparently has much lower standards. I'd much have a job on Fox. Oh, ouch. Ooh. Want me to talk about low standards? You really want to go there? I'll go wherever you want. I'm here yeah. for an interview. Of Apparently, who you keep looking? Where you keep looking? Who's over there? There's, no, there's a camera over it's there the that I'm turning to. Oh, it, 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 it's like a theatrical thing. Like, yeah. Look over here as if you're exasperated. Next on Hannity.